Hi, I'm Aaron, and this is my box truck build. It's a 2001 E450 with a 7.3 diesel engine in it. It's got about 50,000 miles, so it should be good to go for a while. I build out camper vans professionally. My company's Renegade Vans. So I've done about 30 vans or so at this point. So by the time I got to this, I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted. So it took me about two months. I had some help from my girlfriend, Constance, but other than that, it was just me on it. I pretty much knew what I wanted in there and what kind of layout I wanted. I think I've seen what works and what doesn't work in vans. And with it being a box truck, I already didn't have to make that many compromises because there's so much space in there. <laughs> bought the box truck there was a garage door on the back like an overhead door type deal uh, and I decided to rip that out and build some doors myself because it would have been too awkward to raise them on that garage door all the time so these doors have like an inch and a half of foam board in the center and I built that out half inch plywood mostly on the outsides uh, so this is the garage area and it's has room for most of my tools for when I go and do jobs mobily. And here's a 55 gallon water tank. Uh, underneath there's a 44 or 45 gallon water tank for the gray water. So this is fresh water. There's all my pumps and my plumbing. Back there is a water heater. It heats the air and the water actually. So it's both a furnace and a water heater um, and it runs off propane mostly, but you can also run it off electric or a combination of the two. This is just additional access to the storage under here. So the bed, I got a full-size bed in here. Um, it, the box truck, you know, has a lot of space in it, so there's plenty of room for a big bed and plenty of room to spread it out. All these are for my clothes. Put like a closet in here with the rod to hang shirts and everything and a mirror. Another thing I liked about the box truck is that there was plenty of room to put a full size shower in. Uh, this is about, I think it's three feet by two feet. It might be 40, 40 inches actually. So a little over three feet. But it's full size shower. I got an exhaust fan. Place to store my soaps and everything and uh, I was gonna put a composting toilet in here and if I if I end up getting a toilet in here I'll put it in the shower uh, but I have a toilet at my shop where is where I mostly stay um, otherwise I just use the toilet at the gym so I haven't had it really had a need for it but a lot of people ask like the one question I have is where's your toilet and it's probably the only thing that's like missing with this build but I don't really need it for my lifestyle, so I don't have one. These are compressed air lines to blow out the water system. So it's just straighter valves going into this PEX. So I'll do that to winterize it. Uh, so far, I haven't had to do it living in it and keeping the heat on and everything. It, um, it stayed pretty warm. I built some nooks here too for the kitchen storage. Got a magnetic little strip for knives and some more shelving up here. Uh, drawers. There's a fridge. It's about 45 liters. For the kitchen, I got a two burner propane stove. Uh, just a 15 inch sink. 15 by like 12, I think. Got the little spray nozzle deal. Uh, countertops acacia wood and I used some leftover countertop to do this windowsill and then I trimmed it out with walnut and pine on the inside here and all the cabinetry is birch birch plywood um, a lot of storage There's four outlets all 120 volts. So over here is the seating area, and underneath is the battery bank, 
and all the electrical components. It's a 2000 watt inverter, a 40 amp energy charge controller, and then a 200 amp hour lithium battery, and then the short power converter box and all the breakers and wires that are in there. Over there, just some storage for clothes. I usually use it for dirty clothes. And then this table swivels around. You can sit here and eat. It also just pops off like pretty easily if you want it out of the way. Uh, this is switches for the water pump. And then this is a heating pad in case the tanks ever start to freeze if it gets real cold. And then this one's a heating pad for the battery so it can charge when it's really cold because lithiums will cut out at a certain temperature and stop charging. So that's, I haven't had to use them, use them yet, but I kind of just put them in just in case. Uh, this is uh, some aromatic cedar. That smells pretty nice. Uh, there's like six or seven different types of wood I used in here. This is uh, beetle kill pine. This is aspen tongue and groove. This is pine walnut for the trim and this is the pass through to the cab i made the door pretty heavy so it wouldn't rattle and so it'd also be pretty insulated but it's nice to have that to block out all the light and then to keep the heat in in the winter and then keep the heat out in the summer in the summer it gets really hot in the cab from all the windows i have two max air fans here they go both directions there's one over the kitchen and then one over the bed. And then all these windows have screens to keep the bugs out. So overall, I think the box truck is like my favorite platform now, for myself at least, to live in. Uh, since I've built a lot of vans, and I've lived in a couple of vans that I just kind of found that they're a bit too cramped and claustrophobic for me. And I didn't really have space to spread out. So in the box truck, I have a ton of space. I didn't really have to make any compromises on like how I wanted to build it. Um, I could kind of just pick a layout and go with it. I didn't have to like work with any awkward angles or a uh, weird uh, dead space like you have in a van. So it being a box is really nice. Uh, if I were to do something different, I'd make the floor not so light because it shows dirt really well I'd make it darker um, but other than that I'm pretty happy with it this is the controller for the heater you can put it on furnace mode or water heating mode or both at the same time and then you can set a timer so I usually set a timer in the morning so it'll come on like right before I want to wake up and then that actually usually wakes me up and then by the time I get out of bed, it's all warm in here and nice. Um, but I usually just run it for like an hour in the morning and like an hour at night, and that keeps it warm in here. I put the ducts for the heater down here. There's four of them. So lock these doors up. I just have bolt latches at the top and the bottom. And so it's pretty secure at that point. There's also a latch on the outside if I wanna. Just go out this way. I can latch it from the outside too. And I can just lock it up from the outside here. And not have to crawl through the cab to get out. So this here is the uh, actually the intake and the exhaust for the hot water heater. And this is just a 20 amp shore power inlet. Put all these windows in. Eventually I'll paint it, but for now I like how it's kind of industrial on the outside and beat up. And on the inside, it's really nice. I like the contrast. And also, it makes it a little more inconspicuous. Or, you know, if it looks rough on the outside, I feel like people aren't gonna wanna steal it or break into it, but I could be wrong about that. I did weld this pull-up bar and attached it to the rack. I put on this vice grip for when I go do jobs mobily. Yeah, it's pretty large. It fits in like a parking space and a half, maybe. I guess it's almost like 20 feet long. Anyway, that's the box truck.
I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.